guys of Planet K and welcome to yet another episode. My name is our Marilyn Brandy. I go to Lohana Academy and I'm in P5 Blue. As we all know, Planet K is the show that helps little ones to showcase their talents and potentials. And today we have with us our little sister, Ali. Ali, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Brandy. My name is Anushka Ali. I study in St. Francis Primary School and I'm in P6. Last time, the queen of Planet K, Brandy, told us that we are trying to show you our future musicians. So today we have a set of young blood who are going to show us what they can do. So sit down, relax and have fun. <laughs> think you I really think you have heard and seen our little ones they are superstars now we are going to go to them and they'll tell us something about themselves Ali thank you and indeed music is a wonderful thing and you kids watching us right now you can also do the same you can go for football you can go for netball you can dance you can sing and today we're going to interview one of our young superstars how are you? Fine. Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Kalma. I'm in P3 Emerald and study at Hillside Nalia. What's your parents' name? Ani Kajubi and Lami Kajubi. When did you start to play the piano? At the age of five. What, okay. what inspired you to play the piano? It's comforting. It's comforting, eh? Yes. Okay. Now that we've heard from Kalma, let's hear what his mother has to say. Madam, could you kindly introduce yourself? Yes, hello Brandy. Thank Hi. you. Um, I'm Miss Honey Biaranga Kajubi. I'm Carl's mom. It's Kalma, but we prefer to call him Carl. Um, he's, um, I'm an economist and I have one more daughter after Carl and I, we have been supporting Carl in his talent. He loves music. Um, he started when he was about three years. And he just said, Mommy, I want to play drums, guitar, piano. And that time we used to attend church at Watoto. Every time we would uh, praise and and he would say, Mommy, I want to be up there, I want to play. So he said, I want a real piano. So we bought him one piano and he started slowly. Um, we download some tunes on, on our phones, on his tab, and he plays. And then he had some moments when he doesn't want to play, like all kids, and would let him be, just be a child. Okay. Thank you, and okay. Now, okay, what forced you to allow Carmel to go for music? Um, 
we weren't forced actually like i've said he's he was persistent it was his passion you would find him banging tables downloading there's some apps on phones and tabs so he would play them uh, himself he would play a tune on the phone and then we said okay maybe we could invest in very good instruments real instruments which we did we just supported his desire a childhood desire just like some kids can say i want to play football then you buy all the footballs others just start off by wanting to play tennis so it was more self-led by him and like any parent when a child shows interest in something i think it's important that we support them most parents say that music leads to school dropouts what do you have to say about that uh, we have had that uh, rhetoric many times and not necessarily in our experience is a cow is actually always on top of his class and um, it's about balancing both it's a talent and sometimes you're born with that talent if it's if you want to sing there are some kids who just have beautiful voices and they sing in the shower they sing when they are home it doesn't mean they can't perform at their best when they're at school so if on the other hand if you start off your child as if it's um, a business they must do this music then you're clearly going to take away from their time to concentrate on or focus on their studies. So with ours, his, um, his studies, he has a timetable, his studies, weekends are mainly for him to practice his music. So for us personally, we look at it as a talent and perhaps one day he'll be an engineer or he'll be a doctor, but he'll use his talent to entertain people or serve God or in ministry. It doesn't have to be an all out. a nice one 10 years from now well 10 years from now he's eight so that would make him 18 i hope that he'll um, be pursuing his dream career he wants to be um, a space shuttle engineer <laughs> and um, with regard to music, I think he'll, he should be, I hope he will continue with it and he'll be able to teach other children. Thank you, thank you. Would, would you like to give any word to the viewers watching you right now? Thank you. Um, dear viewers, I would like to say, if you have your children and you notice that they are interested in an extracurricular activity, be it music, be it dancing. Girls love ballet, they love to sing. Um, boys love instruments, be it drums. Any talent, please encourage them, but don't push them too much. Do you have any word you would like to give to your friends out there? No. Okay, would you like to send greetings to your parents and teachers? Yes. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was our young superstar, Kalma. He's a man of few words, but when it comes to keyboard, he wows everyone. And I'm going to leave you with our friend, Ali, who's going to take you through another wonderful interview. Ali, here you go. Thank you, Brandy. Before we go for an interview, we would like to hear from Isaiah. Isaiah, please play for us one piece.
Isaiah. When you play Baby Jesus, it feels like Christmas is knocking on the door. And viewers, be careful. Isaiah is warning you. Christmas is on the way. Now, let's go to an interview. Hello, Isaiah. Hello. How are you? Fine. Could you please introduce yourself to the viewers? My name is Isaiah Wasaja Jesse. I go to Granil Academy in Chibori. I am in P3 Yellow. Wow. When did you start playing violin? You start playing violin? I started playing violin when I was six years old. Of all instruments, why did you decide violin? Because it's nice. How do you manage books and music at the same time? At I follow the school timetable and I break, I go for rehearsals. So tell us, would you like to say anything to the people seeing you right now? No. Little ones, now we have heard from Isaiah. Don't let your dream shut up. Parents, let your children follow their dream nicely. Thank you. So now we have heard from Isaiah. Let's hear from the mom. But you have heard he has little words. But when it comes to instruments, he's better than you think. Introduce yourself to the viewers. Yes, hello everyone um, watching this. My name is Eva Makembe. I am Isaiah's mother. I'm actually a mother of four. I'm a wife and I'm an entrepreneur. Wow. Now what forced you to allow Isaiah to go for music? Um, majority of my children are introverts and I was advised that music is one way of someone being able to express themselves. So we decided to do music. We actually also do sports to ensure that he becomes an all-round child. Some parents say that music leads to school dropout. What do you have to say about that? Um, Isaiah is a very bright child. Actually, when it comes to class, he's among the best in his class. So we realized that for him to become a child who who is able to do more than classwork, we need to introduce something extra. So with class, balancing class and music is not a challenge because we are really on top of class when it comes to the mainstream academics. So we juggle the two ably. So where do you see Isaiah 10 years from now? Um, 10 years from now, Isaiah will be 18 years probably finalizing high school or entering university and we believe he'll still be excelling in what he does. Currently he has so many things he wants to be in future but I believe 10 years from now he would have narrowed down to what he actually wants to become. So do you like, do you want to say anything to the viewers watching you right now? Um, I think this is mainly to the parents. Let us allow children to be children and let us use this time for them to explore their interests so that they get a variety of, of passions, something they can pick from when they grow in future. Where we are headed um, in years to come, people will be doing things that they actually talented at to be able to earn a living. So as parents, we need to encourage our children to start now so that they can perfect what that they are good at. Okay. Yeah. Now we have heard from Mommy Isaiah. Parents, please don't sit on your children's dreams. Let them succeed, but please guide them. But And now we are going to go for a break. After that break, we are going to show our big sister, who used to play like Camel and Isaiah, but now is big and plays in churches and more places. Thank you. <laughs>
the break. As I told you, we are going to listen to our big sister. After that, she is going to tell us all about herself. Just sit and relax. <laughs> As they told you, you're, I'm your big sister. I'm Najita Dorothy Evin from Trinity College, Nabingo. I'm in Form 3 and I live at Nabingo. My parents are Mrs. and Mr. Pasilie, Edward, and Namakula Mastula. Not forgetting my aunt, who is Nalunga Rose Najita. When I started playing the piano or the keyboard, I started it in my P5. inspired by my school trainer and I also told my aunt that I wanted to play a keyboard and she was all like do you know you know I'd been to cold it all do you know even any key I said no I will try she brought a trainer at home I was happy she brought a keyboard it was a surprise for me because she was from she was from Dubai by then, and then she brought it. It was a gift from her for, to me. So I was happy, and I started getting it, getting to music at school. When I was 11, I went to Hotel Africana on Buddha Genius Founders Day fundraising day. I played there and I went I also went to Sheraton Hotel. Mm, I also went to church. They gave me some money. children out there, you can be talented like me. Just follow your heart, your passion, what you want, what you would like to do. And also, parents, just support your children in their talents, their passions, and what they want. I would like to thank my auntie, Miss Nalunga Rose Najita, who has made me look this far. And I also want to thank the head teacher for the junior school for also letting me to the outside world, like to the bigger audience. 
Um, I also thank Mrs. Chad Z. Ruth Buddha Junior School for helping me out in all the things that we have gone through up to this far. I would also like to thank my trainer, who is my bigger inspiration, because if you need something and you don't have any inspiration, you cannot make it. Yeah, you can play, but you don't have that feeling of, yeah, my music is nice. Planet K is the program that will help your children to build up their talent and also to show it on the showcase. And now, I'm go until then, I'm going to leave you with our young sister, okay. Sierra Mpalani. She has something wonderful for you guys today. Enjoy. Hello, viewers. My name is Sierra Mpalani. I go to Global Genius School Mukono. I am in P2. Today, I'm going to say it for you a poem. That's why I made little girls. Play dishes filled with hope and wishes. That's why God made little girls. Flowers on pockets and necklace pockets. That's why God made little girls. Dancing and twirling with hair all in curves. That's why God made little girls. Baby dolls and bouncy balls. That's why God made little girls. Flowers on necklace pockets and pockets. That's why God made little girls. Wearing ribbons and less with charm and grace. That's why God made little girls to give the gift of daughters, sisters, moms. That's why God made little girls. Thank you for being our wonderful viewers. Parents, please be your children's inspirations. Please guide them properly. We have been your hosts, Anushka Ali and our brandy until next time bye. bye so the school has a duty of helping these children be and the parent also has a duty of not suppressing that talent sometimes parents can even call a school and say teacher for me my child came to study came to read with these things of sports ah my children should be kept out I think that is very wrong. Dear parents, you don't know what these children are going to be. You want them to be a doctor, but remember you are nurturing a person, you are raising a person who has their own brains, who has their own souls. At the end of the day, time will come. Once they do what they love, they are going to excel in it and they will make they, they will be able to earn a living when they grow up. Well, thank you so much for the words that you've spoken, and I hope you out there have heard. Don't forget that this is Planet K, the only show which helps the children to know what they want to be in future and showcase their desires and talents. Today you've been with me, with Wookie Brandon. Thank you. <laughs>